How to make style changes in Equid 2022 Edit Designs in Equid. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. So in this video, I bring you back with another Equid tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can basically edit your designs and you can play around with it. And it's going to be very easy and I'm going to walk you through all of it. So just sit back, relax and watch me do it all. So first of all, obviously what we're going to need to do is we're going to go on Equid and we're going to go on Equid.com. Now, once you're loaded up over here, obviously you can either get started for free or if you already have a page like me, you're just going to log in. And if you don't know what Equid is, Equid is this great e-commerce website, just like Shopify, Wix or WordPress. And it's just great. It works amazing and it's by lightspeed and uh yeah so if you're not familiar with how this works you can check my other video out where uh i have explained how this works so just check that out to get yourself uh more familiarized and comfortable with this layout uh well once you're here uh on the equid dashboard what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on the left hand side ribbons and you're gonna click on design and once you're on design this is where you're gonna start editing the look of your store so first of all, let's 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 click on view store. I'm going to show you what my store actually looks like right now. So, yeah, uh, if you come here, this is what my store looks like. Not too great. Like it's a type of a gaming store, but it looks really basic and I don't like it. So what we're going to want to do is let's say I want to change the size of these images. So I'm going to go on image size and know this that there is no save button on equid once you click it it implements it on the website so let's say uh, i click it to small and now i'm going to refresh this page now look at this look at how you're just going to go and you're going to refresh the page and we're going to go on edit site over here you can obviously mess around with your playroom if you want to but look at this now that i've refreshed it the images have gone smaller because I changed the size from here. So just know this, that it's a click and implement a process. There is no saving. Once you click it, it will be applied to your website. So this is how you change your image size. Then you're going to come down here. You can change the image aspect ratio. So let's say I want to make it uh, a landscape for three. You can check. You don't necessarily need to go to your website to check how things look. You can just use this product image preview that Equid gives you itself. So let's say if, if square one one looks like this, or this portrait three four look like it looks like that, landscape looks like that. You can just keep it to whatever you want. Then darken image backgrounds. I'd say enable it because it makes uh, it look more bold and better. Now, once you do that, then you're going to come down here where it says product, card, details, and layout. Now, choose which product details to display on the product list and how they are positioned in the product card. So this is basically your product card. And basically, you can mess around with what should go where. So the content or the title and the money for the product card. You can align it to the left, you can keep it to the center, or you can align it to the right, depending on whatever uh, you want, or you can just justify it, obviously. Uh, I'd say the justify looks much better. Then you can come here and mess around more with the layout. You can uh, enable the product card frame, it can frame it. Uh, product card you can show it or not show it show only if mouse hovers so let's say the mouse hovers and look at that it shows the product name you can show or not show the price you can show or not show the SKU show or not show the buy now button if you do show that it's gonna show up right down here and yeah that's basically how you mess around with the, the design and layout of your product card images then if you come down here, here's the category name position there. You can make a display category name on the image. You can do a display under the image. You can do it if displayed over. I personally just prefer this or you can just hide the category image or, or names. This is how you mess around with the category name positions. Then if you come down here, here you can see product page layout. So this is when someone basically chooses your product and this is the layout they get to add it to their cart or bag 
So it could be two columns products description on the right like this. Or it could be like this, the product description under the image. Or it could be like this, the product description. I personally wouldn't go for this. Just, uh, in my opinion, just go for one of these two because these two work best when it comes to a website. Then you can come down here where it says navigation. And here you can mess around with your navigation bar. You can show in product details if you want to. That's totally on you. And this is your basic image gallery thumbnails. This is if you have images, obviously. You can mess around with those as well. This, finally, is your sidebar. Now, what your sidebar is, let's say, uh, basically the sidebar of your page, like this one. You, as you can see, this is a sidebar. And in your sidebar, you can add your product name, and you can set uh, whatever comes first, whatever comes second, whatever comes third. And you can mess around with all of this later if you want to, depending on however you want to mess around with your page. So, yeah, that's how you mess around and edit your sidebar. Then here are your storefront navigation and colors where you can change uh, the color adaptation. For example, if you want different colors for different products, you can add that. You can add the footer menu, add sort by option, sign in link, whatever you want. And in the category view, you can either collapse the categories like displays products from root categories on respective category pages only, or you can uh, expand it basically the opposite of this. So yeah, that's how simple and easy it is to uh, basically edit your designs. Now, one more thing is that you can either create your very own theme that you want or I'm not fully signed up right now, but you can fully sign yourself up and it also lets you download themes from the app store that Equip provides you with. And once you download themes, what's going to happen is that it already gives you this great pre-made layout and you don't really have to edit anything because everything is already as great as it seems on the template base. So yeah, you can either create your own or download a theme. Now for that, as I said, you're going to need to be fully signed up and uh, yeah, then you can just go ahead and do whatever you want with it. So yeah, basically that's how easy it is to uh, basically edit your designs on Equid and uh, mess around with different templates, different themes, uh, design different themes, edit different themes and mess with the layout. So if you have any questions related to this video, let me know down in the comments and I'll help you straight away. Uh, apart from that, if you have any other suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. But yeah, until then, like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave down a nice comment if you like the video. And yeah, until then, I hope you all keep having a great day. Uh, that was all from me and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.